Hello again, thanks for watching. My name is Joe Catrona. You're watching another quick tips video from Go Engineer. Today I want to take a quick look at the different curve types inside of SolidWorks. I think leveraging and understanding the different curves can help us to be a lot more productive uh, about our modeling tasks. So the first one is the composite curve. Now let's say you have this random shape and you need to create some type of bracket. Uh, you could obviously do this with a 3D sketch and then loft along that one path. Uh, however, it may be easier just to create it in two, three different sketches. Um, so that's where the composite curve comes in. Now we know that a sweep will not follow multiple sketches. If these were three different sketches as they are now, a swept uh, profile will not follow those. So let's take a look at the composite curve. If I go ahead and join all three of these different sketches, they become this one composite curve swallowed up by the feature. At that point, I can go ahead and choose a single profile, although it may be parallel to one of these portions of the path, it will still follow that path. SolidWorks figures that out for us. Now another example of a curve that you may not use too often, if I just back this up, is the curve through reference points. So let's say that all of these sketches are just reference geometry. So maybe I've just utilized some line work to create some reference points out there in space. That's where the curve through reference points comes in. However the points got there doesn't really matter. SolidWorks is just going to allow you to pick in kind of this uh, chronological order what points you want the curve to follow. SolidWorks is going to go ahead and figure out the continuity and tangency and so forth to give us a nice spline through reference points. Now another curve type that you may not be uh, so familiar with Let's take a quick look, it is the curve through XYZ points. So you don't need a sketch at all for the curve through XYZ points. You can find it under insert, curve, XYZ, or on your features toolbar. Now the curve through XYZ points is going to pop up a little window here. Uh, basically to activate this we just need to double click. The zeros are going to be populated. We can go ahead and fill those out and we can see in the background that curve is going to start to form. Okay. Now we've also got some buttons over here. We can save out this curve. That's going to give us an SD, SLD CRV file so that we can import this curve um, into other sketches, uh, into other parts later on down the road. We also have the browse button. That's going to allow us to pull in a comma delimited text file, an ASCII text file. So we'll take a look at that. Also the insert button. This may not be a hundred percent obvious what this does. Maybe insert a point, maybe insert this curve, maybe that means I'm done. Uh, what that actually means is to insert a row similar to what you would do in Excel. Okay, So we'll go ahead and cancel that for the time being and I just happen to have a comma delimited text file on my desktop. So there you can browse for two different types, a previously uh, created SolidWorks curve or a text file. I'll go ahead and accept that and say OK. Should have a curve somewhere there uh, based on those points. One last curve that we'll take a look at is the helix. You're probably aware of the helix. Uh, in order to create a helix, you first need a circle. The diameter of a helix is based upon a simple circle. So we'll start with a circle here on the top plane, then activate the helix command. SolidWorks does a great job of assuming uh, that circle that I just created is the circle I want to base this helix off of. Uh, we can choose pitch and revolution, height and revolution, height and path. And also, if you just wanted to make this a two-dimensional spiral, you can do that there as well. As you adjust the revolutions, uh, the different parameters, the preview is going to update. So some nice tools under the curves drop down here. 
Um, if you're not using those, definitely I encourage you to take advantage of them. Please do leave us a comment. Let us know what you think about curves. Are they useful in everyday modeling, design work? Um, also, leave us a comment if there's a video specifically that you'd like to see. Thanks for watching. <laughs>